Parian go, yawarong, ngajang a dawang a yawar yangang. Ni waran, bergamip geringa. Jiran dayan, nganek melika. Kemudang banjang dolong banjal nga. Nganem. Linap ta, jiran dayan a warung. Bereng a dawang a. Ngajang, yawar yangang. Hello everybody, um, welcome to Warangari Arts. My name is Ted Carlton. Most people around here call me Yamban. I'd like to welcome you once again to Warangari Aboriginal Art. This is Glennis Nyeri. She's one of our members too as well, one of the Mirong Gajirong ladies from this area, and she just done the welcome to country in Mirong language. This art centre here is a very important place for our Mirong and Gajirong people. It was de developed by our old, old people, our senior elders, long time back, and here we get a lot of artwork and a lot of history. In a minute, Glenn is gonna perform the mantha. Mantha is like a sort of a baptism, I suppose, in the Gadea world, but we, the mantha is performed by a Mirong person to welcome outside people onto our country so they can do business on our land with our all people looking after them too as well. Oenja, ngenja nga dawang a yuri angang. Oa kangen ba ngenja nga dawang. Kamali wanga ngoa ka. Ne waran. Hello, my name is Dora Griffiths and I am the chairperson of Barangari Aboriginal Art. This art center is more than a gallery where art is sold. It is also a place for community coming together. We make art and artifacts to keep our stories and culture strong and alive. It's like this boab nut. This engraved boab nut comes from the boab tree. We call this boab tree in Mirawang language Kudawan. This Kudawan is an important part of our culture. These trees, like the hills and the rivers, the water rolls are all part of Ngarangani, or what you might call the dreaming. The Ngarangani keeps everything connected and in balance. The engraved boy is a symbol for connectedness and the right way of the Ngarangani. The artists who create these artifacts do so because they have authority from the elders to do so. When our senior artist started this art center, our artists were mainly involved with painting and artifact making. Today, our artists tell our cultural stories in many different forms, such as textile fashion, ceramic sculptures, objects, and digital arts. The move into new medium was because our senior artists wanted new ways to teach young artists and pass on cultural knowledge. This art center is a keeping place. The stories of our old people are here. Their stories are contained in these paintings, in their song and dances that are performed here. Our people told their stories and kept their knowledge alive through body painting and cave paintings and storytelling. This center is a place that keeps these stories and maintains our obligation to our culture. So this place keeps our culture and help us understand our identity. Today, this knowledge assists our Mirong people to know who they are and feel proud. Hi, my name is Kelly Andrill. I'm a Gidja woman, and the textile work that I do is punululu, bongo bongo. Um, I find textile interesting in doing it. Um, it shows how I can show my country. It's a different way also in doing it than just canvas. Yeah, I have been doing textile um, just over two, three years now with um, Peggy Griffin, one of the um, idlers I look up to. Hello, my name's Brenda. This is my mom's painting. It is the story of her country, Uruguru. It shows how we all connect. All the rivers and waterways 
are connecting together. I think that is why Jawan choose this piece to celebrate 20 years. Now I'm following on from my mom with what she has taught me to make my own paintings. Hello everyone, my name is Gloria Menga. I also learned from my mom. She taught me about bush fruit when I was small. I paint these stories when we used to go hunting for bush tucker. And I also make these design for ceramic and textile. Hello, I'm Ben Ward. My country is Argyle country. It's underneath the water, Lake Argyle. They call it Lake Argyle now. That's where I was born, on the property of Argyle Downs, Durex property. And um, I'm, I paint the hill there, which is a um, painting of the grasshopper dreaming, that one. I use the green for spinifex, the red for uh, rocks. Pink is the color of the pink sometime. The certain time of this day changes colors. So I use all them colors onto my painting. Thank you for joining us on our virtual tour today. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Now we would like you to join us for a last dance. Boy, boy. Last one, last one now.